Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and you are listening to Subhash Chandran. In this video, we are going to discuss about the most important deliverables that are being issued in a piping project. It is very important for a piping design engineer to aware about the kind of deliverable that he has to issue in any project. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. And before going into the video, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please do give me a subscription to motivate me so that I'll be able to make more and more videos to improve your piping design knowledge. Let's get into the topic. Let's understand what is deliverable. Deliverable is a terminology used to refer a set of drawings and documents submitted in a project as a part of engineering completion submission to a client, end user or a consultant. If you are working in a project, you must be working for a client. So as a part of an engineering completion, you must be submitting something. And this submission includes drawings and documents that are known as deliverables. So the final engineering packages with the drawings and documents are known as deliverables. Now let's see what are the most important deliverables that are being issued from piping discipline. So this has been classified into three types, drawings, documents and model. Let's start with the drawings. In drawings, the first important drawing that are submitted is plot plan. In plot plan, we have two types of plot plan. One is overall plot plan. Overall plot plan means it consists the overall plot area. And the second one is the unit plot plan. Unit plot plan is nothing but overall plot plan is divided into multiple segment and each one segment is known as unit plot plan. Plot plan is a drawing that shows the overall plot of the plant with names of the equipments and the position of the equipment with respect to coordinates and it will also show the primary racks like major pipe racks and secondary pipe racks. And the second important drawing that we have to issue is the piping layout. In piping layout also we have two types actually one is a plan view piping layout and another one is elevation or sectional view. It, it, it looks like this actually in a plan view you will be submitting a drawing that appears to be a plan view basically but in elevation and sectional uh, drawings and you will be submitting a drawing that will exactly shows the complete uh, view from elevation point of view. So this is known as the piping layout. Then the third important drawing is the piping isometric. Piping isometric is one of the most important drawing that has to go for construction because construction and fabrications are done basically with you, by using piping isometric drawings. Piping isometrics will have a list of BOM uh, materials and uh, it will indicate the direction of the line. So this is another important drawing that are being submitted. And the fourth drawing is pipe support drawings. Pipe support also needs to be fabricated and constructed with respect to the piping isometrics. So it is very important to have an individual pipe support drawings for a better fabrication and construction. Few companies have set of standard pipe support drawings. So in case of non-availability of these standard drawings, then we have to prepare the pipe support drawings for individual support. Now let's go to the documents that are being submitted in piping projects as a part of a deliverable. So the first document that are submitted is MTO. MTO is nothing but a material takeoff which will have a list of materials that has to be procured for construction. And the second document is tie-in schedule. Tie-in schedule is nothing but a sheet that indicates a list of tie-ins from where the tie-in to be taken with the schedule and the type of joint connections. And the third important document is mechanical data sheet. Data sheets are prepared for valves and strainers and for piping specialty items. So it is another one important document that has to be submitted along with the final submission. And the fourth document is procurement specification. Procurement specification is a specification used for the procurement of an item. Say for an example, you wanted to purchase a valve or strainer or any uh, piping specialty item. Then you have to prepare a procurement specification. So based on the requirements listed in the procurement specification, the items will be purchased. Now let's go to the last deliverable which is known as model. Model is nothing but a 3D model. 3D model with all the supporting files. There are two types of 3D models are submitted. One is the parent files and another one is a review 3D model. So the first type it will have the list of all parent files with all folder structures that has to be submitted to the client so that the client will be able to open up in the same software that you are uh, using for building these models basically. And the second type is converted 3D model to review model. This model is only used for review purpose because in this model you can't modify anything. This is just a 3D model where you can actually uh, review your pipings and structures on cable trays and instrument drawings but you can't do any modification in it. So that is why it is known as a review model. So when you're submitting a model you have to submit two types of models. One is a parent 3D model with all supporting files and folders and the second type is the converted 3D model for the review purpose. I guess this video has helped you to understand the most important deliverables that are being issued in a piping project. Thank you for watching my video and thanks for supporting me. If you like this video please do give me a like because that will indicate that you are liking this type of a content so I'll be able to make more such videos and also don't forget to share with your friends and more importantly don't forget to subscribe to my channel because that gives me a motivation to make more and more videos. I'll meet you in another fantastic video. Until then, bye from Subhash Chandran.